Hi! Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a comparison of two different Chanel wallet on chain or wax. One style that I have in my collection is this one right here. This is the Half Moon wallet on chain. And the other style that I have in my collection is this one right here, which is the more standard rectangular wallet on chain. I have this in the reissue style. Uh, I, I'll go into more details about each one. Uh, but I wanted to do a comparison of like what fits inside, how I like each one, how they're similar and how they're different so that it could help anybody out there who's who's looking for adding a wallet on chain to their collection. To give a quick overview of each style I have in my collection, this is the Half Moon wallet on chain. I have it in the black caviar with the silver hardware, as you can see here. This style opens and closes with a magnetic snap. It has a slip pocket in the front, a zipper compartment right behind it, another slip compartment right here, there is an open compartment and six card slots in the back. There is no pocket on the back of this style. But as you can see, it's a very, uh, very soft, not soft that it doesn't have structure, but it's still like a softer style uh, where it looks like it has a little bit more give. The dimensions on this bag are 10 inches wide, five and a half inches tall, and one and a half inches deep. I purchased this in 2013. I think they discontinued the style in 2014 or 2015, sometime around then. So if you're interested in getting your hands on this style, which I highly recommend, I think you should check out the pre-loved markets and see if you can get your hands on one. The other style I have in my collection is this reissue on on chain. So this is in the more classic rectangular style with the quilted pattern across. Uh, this is in the iridescent purple lambskin with the rainbow hardware, as you can see. It goes all the way through for the chain strap as well. I got this from the 2017 fall collection last year. There is a pocket on the back of this style, so it's really cute. It looks like a classic, classic flap. If we open this up, you'll see there is a zipper compartment up top here and there's a slip pocket here a zipper compartment here there's another slip pocket right behind it right there there's the open compartment and then you can see there are six card slots in the back as well the dimensions on this style is seven and a half inches across five inches down and one and a half inches wide I'm gonna go ahead and show you what fits inside. So typically I would put credit cards in the credit card slot in the back so that I can fit more items in my bag. Um, so assuming that I had some cards in here, the other items that I would put in are typically um, like a lip balm, a lipstick, eye drops, because my eyes get really dry. Um, I'd also have my keys with me that I can stick down in the bottom there, and also a pair of sunglasses now. I typically put them in a soft case so that the sunglasses don't get scratched and the bag doesn't get damaged either. So if I put them in the soft case, they fit right inside, and I can close up my bag easily, and we're good to go. It's typically the everyday essentials that I carry with me. Um, and you can see that there's plenty of room for some additional stuff. I typically put in like tissues in these pockets and I put cash in my zipper compartment here. So on days when I'm really lazy to take out my credit cards, I can actually fit this whole wallet inside here. So I'll just slip it in onto one side and I can still fit my eye drops, my lip balm, my lipstick and they fit just right in there and then I can also take my keys which would be pretty important to take with me and then again I can close it up and I'm good to go this actually doesn't feel overstuffed or anything it feels it feels perfect 
Uh, if you didn't want to use the card slots though, you can most definitely use like a card wallet. So I have this Fendi one right here. This also fits really nicely in the back. Let me just take out my keys again. Everything else fits the lipstick, the lip balm, the eye drops. They can stay in there and you can see how much more space you have. So then I can add in my sunglasses right there. I can pop in my keys on top and close it up. And that's pretty much everything that I would need on a daily basis. For the reissue, pretty much the same things fit inside, so I can show you. Um, also, assuming that I've pulled out my cards to just stick into the back in the card slots out here, I typically also drop in a lipstick, my eye drops, my lip balm, and also my sunglasses, which fit pretty nicely in there. And then of course my keys, I'd need to take those with me. So I'd slip that in the back out here. Then I can close up my bag and I'd be good to go for the day. That's pretty much all the essentials that I can fit in here. And it's, it's quite tight with the sunglasses in there, so that's probably about max capacity. Now, if I was lazy and I didn't feel like taking out my credit cards to put into here, I can fit my Irma's wallet in here. So let me show you. It does fit. So it does fit, and as you can see, it pretty much takes up the entire space. I could probably fit a lipstick and my keys on the side here to then close up and be good to go. But I'd had to leave out my eye drops, my lip balm, and my sunglasses to do that. Similar to the half moon style, I put my cash in the zipper compartment and I have like napkins or tissues in these other slip pockets. I don't really use this slip pocket up here uh, not really on this style. I don't feel like I need to use it as much. Um, but typically, instead of this kind of full-size wallet, um, you can fit in a card wallet. So I'm going to put my Fendi card holder back in here. You can see you save a lot more space by doing that. So then I can also stick in my sunglasses and close it up and be good to go. Now, the convenience of this bag is this pocket in the back. I actually love to put my Metro card in here for easy access so that I don't have to fuss with this and open it every time I wanna get to my Metro card. Um, you could also stick you know, your, your credit card, your preferred credit card, or, or if you have like key card access to your, your home or your, your apartment building, then you could also put those in there and it would be easy to get to frequently. That's pretty much everything that fits in here. I do find that the style um, seems to be a little more restricted uh, be because of its like rectangular shape. Uh, you can see that my, you can, I hope those cutaway views were helpful to see what fits inside each style. I think it's really fascinating to know that this full size wallet, this full-size burn compact wallet fits inside both of these styles if you wanted it to. Um, just realizing that you would have to uh, have to rationalize some of the other items that you would want to carry in, in the, your handbag. I didn't know that when I was buying these walks so I definitely think that's a that's a surprising characteristic of these bags. We, we, we tend to think of them as being really too small, but I think uh, they're the perfect size really for your everyday essentials. As you can see, this style, this, this walk is a lot more um, forgiving in terms of being able to put more items in here. So I think if you want something that would definitely fit more, uh, fit more and feel less rigid in doing so, then I would definitely recommend this style. I think, I think it looks really, um, it looks really classic. Uh, it looks great dressed up and down. 
and um, can really fit a lot of items that you need. I also want to mention that should you ever um, put your chain inside to try to carry this as a clutch, which I think this particular style is gorgeous to do that with, um, just be mindful that you ha can actually fit a little bit less because the chain takes up some of the space at the bottom. Not too much, it's not like you have to sacrifice a lot, um, but it does take up some of the real estate inside, so you're gonna have to maybe modify what you carry when you do that. I hope you found this comparison video helpful. Comparison between these two different walk styles, the half moon and the classic to see what fits inside and how how forgiving each style could be. I think both style is perfect for everyday wear just to carry your essentials and to be hands-free. I also think either piece is wonderful to add to your collection if you're thinking about it. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or head over to Instagram and you can ask me there. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd be able to see more pictures of me styling both of these items as well as the other items that I have in my collection. If you haven't already seen it, I'll link my Chanel collection video down below and you can see all the pieces that I have in my Chanel collection to date. If you like this video, please let me know uh, by giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to this channel. I have just started out for YouTube and I know my videos might not be as high tech as some others, uh, but I still hope that I can share some of my knowledge and contribute to this overall community for those who might have some questions or might just want to see uh, what styles are out there and how to build a collection. So until next time, bye!